What's up guys, it's Jim from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the simplified step to create overlapping text effect in Illustrator. Yeah, I know it can get a little bit complex and I know you are seeing tutorials that are showing you 10 minutes how to create text in Illustrator, but I'm going to make it easier for you in this tutorial. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. All right, so if you want to create an overlapping text effect in Illustrator, you will be only using like tool tools in Illustrator. One of them is the offset feature. And then another tool is the shape builder tool. Depending on the effects you want to create, you can also combine the shape. It really, really just take you a couple of steps to make that work. Yeah, basically all you need to do is create text, create a text outline, and then add an offset pass and then use the shape builder tool to delete part of the shape that you don't want. There are probably better ways or more correct way to do it, but I'm going to show you the easiest trick. So select the type tool from the toolbar and add text to Illustrator. If you're not familiar with how to add text or how to change the font, I do have a video tutorial or I do have a step-by-step -step guide which you can find the link in the description below. For example, I'm going to add, um, let's just say two letters. All right, I'm going to just change the font real quick. So let's say that I want to overlap the O and C and the first step you need to do is create a text outline. If you're not sure how to create a text outline, I do have a video tutorial showing you how to do so or a step-by-step -step guide if you want to find the link in the description below. Otherwise, simply use the keyboard shortcut Shift, Command, and O to create a text outline or you can right-click and choose Create Outlines. It's super easy. Okay, so once you have the text outlined, you will have to ungroup the text, so right-click and ungroup or use the shortcut Shift, Command, and G to ungroup the text. And as you can see, once you ungroup the text, you can move around the text and to add the overlapping parts. All right, so just let me zoom in a little bit or make it a little bit bigger so you can see the area better. So let's say that you want to create a cut here for the overlapping text so that you can see the C. And right now, honestly, all you need to do is I know some people, they will create a copy or they will change the color, but I'm going to cut all these steps so then you don't get confused since it can be quite confusing. So I'm just going to directly go to Object, Path, Offset Path. So as you can see, it adds kind of a stroke to the text you just selected and the idea is to just delete these parts okay so you can choose the offset path value here is 10 points if you increase it the stroke will be a little bit thicker maybe if you want 15 and as you can see it's going to be a little bit thicker it really depends on the effect you want to create i think 10 is a good point so it doesn't get too thick click ok and select it again, you will see uh, these overlapping areas. Now the next step, let's change this color, the stroke color, as you can see, you can select the stroke color, I mean the offset path color in this case, and get rid of the color so you don't get confused. See, it doesn't exist. So that was your original text, but if you select them both, you can see still the overlapping area. And what we need to do right now is to delete these parts to show the overlapping area, right? Okay, so now select the Shape Builder tool. I also have a tutorial showing you how to use the Shape Builder tool if you need some extra help on that. So hold the Option key or Alt if you're using Windows and you can see the area that I have my cursor on is highlighted and you actually need to delete this area. I'm going to zoom in. So hold the Option key and you will see the minus icon on the cursor. And click to delete this point. So that's it. If you zoom out, 
I know you can still see the outline. You can actually delete the outline area as well. So simply switch back to the selection tool or use the shortcut V. Select the outline and delete them. Hit the delete key. And there you go. You have created an overlapping part. Oh, as you can see, if you move them around, you will see um, this area is kind of cut. You can actually uh, combine them using the Pathfinder tool and click Unite. And now both letters, they are one shape. So now you can feel free to edit the text form and such. I know if this gap looking a little bit too big, that's why I was talking about the offset part. You can always reduce the value uh, to make it a little bit better. So now you can edit these two letters. Yeah, like a shape, change a color as you want, or maybe add a gradient as well. Alright, so that's it. That's how you can quickly create an overlapping text effect in Illustrator. If you want to receive more graphic design tips like this, how I simplify the steps of creating artwork, you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter, which I will have the link in the description below. And as always, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos.